Hey, what's good, one is I'm not already in the clutch and uh as a free agency is um, wrapping up for day one, uh, there's a lot of transactions that just went down uh, across the league. So uh, we're gonna go in order of a sequence of, uh, of events that uh, happen, uh, what resignings have happened or who is leaving, et cetera. So the first order of business I wanna talk about today is um, James Harden and the Los Angeles Clippers have agreed uh, to a two year, $70 million extension. And um, I gotta say, I mean, it on it is pretty shocking and um i'm just first off i gotta say i'm just impressed with james harden like i don't know how this man is just winning in life <laughs> in the aspect that like he basically can he has all these tactics and maneuvers to do whatever he wants to go to whatever team he wants to go to he pouted his way out of houston to go to brooklyn got his wish he, he Threw a tantrum, didn't uh, make much of an effort uh, in Brooklyn because he wanted to go to the Sixers. Did the same thing. And then he called out everybody he possibly could through uh, his um, general manager, uh, Daryl Morey, under the bus to be able to go specifically to the LA Clippers. He got his wish. And then he wanted uh, basically the opportunity to be able to get an extension and because he was uh, tired of like um, taking a pay cut when he was with the Sixers, he wanted to get a max contract. That's what this all boiled down to. And long story short, here we are today and he's getting a max contract, uh, $35 million a season. That's, that's a lot of money. It doesn't matter who you are. That's really impressive. So I just, I don't know how he does it because I mean, I mean, James Harden, yes, he's a great player. Yes, he's a future Hall of Famer and everything like that. But we have seen time and time and time again every single year that while he's great in the regular season or or he'll be able to elevate the team's performance um, in the regular season, once the playoffs come, there's going to be a game or two where he's just going to completely um, falter and he's just going to fall apart and things are not going to look good and people are wondering like is he even on the court like is he James Harden like what's going on here and that's exactly what happened once again this year and despite that despite what we all know um James Harden is a player like great great in the regular season and on sometimes in the playoffs but there's always going to be that one game or two where when they need him the most he's just going to completely break down and and then that's why his uh, teams never win the championship unfortunately so but he still gets paid or still gets whatever he wants. He's got like like LeBron like power. I don't know how, but I am just really impressed with him overall in that aspect. But um but yeah, I mean it's a it's a great deal for Harden. I mean for the Clippers they kind of are in a way trapped because they didn't have um, a lot to work with. I mean, they re-signed Kawhi Leonard, which once again, on the surface, it looks good. But if we dive deep into it, I mean, Kawhi Leonard, he, when healthy, is one of the uh, best players this league has ever seen in today's game. But unfortunately, that's the thing. He's rarely ever healthy. There's always an injury um, here and there. He's got a rest or he can't, um, he'll play for a game or two and then take four games off or rinse and repeat, etc. Like, it's just, it's unfortunate. I mean, um, we can't necessarily blame him. I mean, he must have had like some, like just really messed up knees or whatever the case may be. It just, it is what it is. And uh, um, unfortunately, I mean, the Clippers are breaking up uh, as um, Russell Westbrook, from what I understood, he's most likely uh, not coming back to the Clippers and Paul George, same thing. And um, they need to keep some star players to, especially with their new arena coming up, to be able to um, at least sell some tickets. And uh, James Harden, he is a he is a big name, um, with both within the basketball world and outside of it too. Uh, a lot of people know who James Harden is, whether they're fans of basketball or not. So uh, he is marketable in that aspect. So that'll be uh, very helpful um, for Steve Ballmer to be able to um, be a, like a good selling point um, in their new arena. But I don't know. I mean. Um, the Clippers, I mean, do I think they're going to compete um, this uh, season? I mean, maybe for a, there may be like a fringe playoff play in spot realistically, but I don't see them like definitely not winning the championship, especially with how stacked the, the Western Conference is. <clears throat> you got the Dallas Mavericks who just made it to the finals. So a lot of people, including myself, didn't predict the Mavericks were going to make it to the finals, but it just goes to show that. Um, anything's possible and that um, they do have the talent there. Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves, I know they're very hungry to be able to, um, to be able to 
get the revenge to um, get get to the finals or or to win it as well. I mean, especially Anthony Edwards, how like he's just he's on a mission um, to destroy everybody in the league. Um, you can make the same argument for the Denver Nuggets as um, they won the championship last year, but they got embarrassed uh, this year in this playoffs against Minnesota, and they're gonna want revenge there. And like you could also argue. Um, Maybe the LA Lakers, um, depending how things are, they could surprise people and um, be able to maybe make a, a deep run, possibly. I'm not guaranteeing that, um, but it's just too much um, too much going on in the Western Conference for, um, or even Oklahoma City Thunder, I forgot to mention them, how they're a really young squad and then now they uh, got someone like Alex Caruso, who um, is a, a veteran leader who has championship experience and he, he could be a difference maker to be able to help the OKC Thunder uh, go further in the in the playoffs because of his experience to let them basically uh, guide the ship and not have them like uh, be scared or nervous uh, in big moments because someone like Caruso, he's everything you need as a player. He has a Derek White-like type role um, for this OKC Thunder team, which uh, is going to be very important come playoff time. So there's so many teams out there that... Um, that the Clippers are gonna to have to go up against. Each have their own agenda. Each are hungry for their own uh, respective reasons. And losing um, Russell Westbrook and Paul George, it's not gonna be easy um, for them. And um, also um, they they did lose a lot of their assets um, when they um, made the trade for Paul George to get, um, while getting rid of Shea Gildas Alexander. So they're kind of like in, they're kind of trapped in no man's land in a way. Um, I don't, I don't want to say as bad as the Chicago Bulls where they had no direction, but they're sort of within that category where they're kind of boxed in. They got to keep somebody there and they know they're not going to compete and they don't have much uh, draft picks or, or money to work with to be able to uh, be a contending team or even just, or even if they want to go on a full on rebuild, they really can't because they just got this new arena and it's going to be a bad look um, for Steve Ballmer to be able to get this, um, to convince fans to come to this new arena because he spent billions of dollars to make this work. It's, he's stuck in, he's juggling in a really tight spot. So I, I just, um, like I said, it's a great move for James Harden, really good move for him. Um, I'm impressed with how he's able to get everything his way. But for the LA Clippers, I mean, this was like a move they had to make. They were forced to do, at least it was a short-term deal compared to what Paul George wanted, a long-term deal. So they would have been trapped even longer. So at least they were able to maybe have a way out, but um, we'll just have to wait and see. But I, I, uh, contending wise, I don't think it's a good move, but um, for Harden, this is a win, win, hu huge win for, for Harden overall. So. Let me, let me know what you guys think, uh, Clipper fans. Um, do you guys like the signing? Do you guys not? Do you guys want uh, Paul George instead? Were you willing to um, to keep him or find a way to maybe um, like let go of uh, both Harden and Westbrook? I would love to hear you guys out in the comment section how you guys would have considered a successful free agency this per this um, period. Um, <clears throat> I'm forever grateful for all of you guys for watching this uh, video. Thank you all so much for your time. Please like and subscribe to this channel. God bless you all and talk soon.